Right movement stretch break, we're gonna do a lot of lower body today. So step it out into a nice wide stance. And we're just gonna do some hip rock. So not a full lunge. Sit back on your heel. You'll feel it in that straight hamstring. And just push those hips from side to side. You're gonna feel it a little bit in the inner thigh. Nice and easy, a little shift the weight. Keep those feet flat. Kind of pushing that butt back. And then go ahead and bring it up. Knees are straight, arms straight up overhead. And then push that hip to the left. And then draw, or the, to the right. <laughs> And then drop your left arm, and then that right arm is going to keep reaching. And then in slow intervals, we're going to eventually get down to the ground or towards our foot or as low as you can go. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, go down about two inches and hold. Deep breath in. And exhale, drop about two more inches. Deep inhale. And exhale as low as you can go. If that's to the ground, if that's where we were just at, your ankle, whatever you got, but those legs are still straight. Deep inhale. And exhale, windmill the arms all the way up to the top. Arms are center, push the hips back all the way up to the top. And now we're gonna push those hips to the left. Turn it to the right, hold it here. Now drop that right arm. We'll do the same thing on this side. Here we go, deep inhale. And exhale, drop two inches. Inhale. And exhale, drop two more. Deep inhale, and exhale, drop all the way. One side might feel a lot easier to get down to than the other, and that's okay. Big inhale, and exhale, windmill the arms up, and now just from side to side, push that hip, and then those arms and our upper body go towards the other side. One more to each side, and then we're gonna do our three-way points in this wide stance. So we push the hips back, arms are straight. Push the hips back, fingertips to the ground. Push the hips back, arms and fingers all the way through the thighs. Keep it going, hips back, arms straight. To the ground, through the legs. Three more. Two more. Last one. Good. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of a windmill. We're still staying in that wide stance. Left arm drops straight down to the center. Push those hips back. Open up to the right. Center, open up to the left. So we're not gonna hold these ones for very long. About one or two seconds, and then send it back to the middle, and then kick that other arm out. We're gonna upper back, those shoulders, while still working on our hammies, our glutes. We've got two more each side. Keep your hands center, keep your feet where they are, slowly bend the knees, bring your elbows to the inner thigh, and more rocking from side to side. Use those elbows, push those knees down, and straighten, hands come down to the ground, and back into it. So not holding it for too long. Some good shifts side to side and straighten. 
Take it back down. Three more. This is our third one. Straighten. Take it down. Really move, get low and straighten. Take it down, last one. And straighten. We are going to stay in this position. I want you to grab your opposite elbow, let your upper body become heavy. And you can sway side to side or you can just hold. But your entire upper body is just heavy. Let it hang. Shake out your head if you need to, just relax. We're here for 30 seconds. So slow that breathing down. Allow yourself to relax. Last three, two, one. Your arms are down on the ground and walk your fingers to your right foot. You can grab your knee, your shin and calf, or all the way down by the foot, but our legs are still straight. And pull your chest towards your right leg. Really working those hamstrings today, staying in this wide stance. Walk your fingers to your left, same thing. Different options where you need to grab, but either way you're pulling your chest to that leg. And take it down to the center and go ahead and drop those knees down to the ground. Toast and knees both apart. Push those hips back, let's sit back in child's pose. Time to relax those muscles we are just working from being in that wide stance for so long. Push the ground away really, really hard. Drive your butt back to those heels. That's where we're really gonna stretch the groin, the thighs. Give those hamstrings a little love, a little break. Very good. All right, staying down on the ground, we're gonna do different tiers of a lunge and then we're done. So our first one, we're gonna start, keep that knee down the whole time. And what you're gonna do, if you can, you can either have your hands down for assistance or keep them on your knees, but you're gonna use the top of that left foot and push yourself up about an inch off the ground and then lower. We've got four more of those. Last two. On our last one, we hold, hold, hold. Go from that back top foot now to the balls of your feet and lower into about that half lunge. Hold. Slowly bring those arms up overhead and drop it down so your knee touches the floor and then bring yourself back up. A little bit taller, almost unbending. Drop down to a lunge, all the way to the ground, halfway, straighten, halfway, and to the ground. Go ahead and bring those arms down, switch out the legs. Starting here with our little, little lift using the top of our right foot now. Here we go, up, down, up, down, three more. And get ready to hold it, still on the top of our right foot. We haven't turned our foot around yet. Three, two, one, to the balls of the feet. Drop it down. You need to step forward and kind of widen that stance, go for it. Arms come up overhead. And drop down low. 
all the way to the ground, halfway, and straight. Halfway, all the way down, halfway, kick all the way up, halfway, all the way down, halfway, straighten, halfway, all the way down, and then bring those hands down. Child's pose, now toes together, knees apart. Sit back on those heels. Nice deep breath in. And bring it on up. Awesome job, see you tomorrow.